students, we have already completed chapter number one to chapter number seven. If you missed those parts, you can check the description box. The links are there. So let's begin. So let us start with the introduction of chapter number eight, decimals, fractions with denominators ten, hundred, thousand, etc. are known as decimal fractions. Can be written in a form using a decimal point. So these fractions with denominators ten, hundred, thousand, they are called decimal fractions, and they can be written in a form using a decimal point. Students, we can convert fractions into decimals and decimals into fractions, which we will study further. A decimal has two parts: whole number part and decimal part, and these parts are separated by a dot. They are called decimal point. These parts, whole number part and decimal part, they are being separated by a dot, and that dot is called as decimal point. Example: twenty-five point nine four. So here, decimal point left side is known as whole number part, and right side is the decimal part. So here, twenty-five is the whole number part, and ninety-four is the decimal part. Another example: sixty-four point seven three one. So decimal point left side sixty-four is the whole number part, and seven three one is the decimal part. And students, keep in mind: decimal point left side, the number which you have four, that is in the ones place, and six is in the tens place. So decimal point right side, first number seven is in the tens place. Three is in the hundreds place and one is in the thousands place. So how it is been read as sixty-four point seven three one. Keep in mind, always read the decimal part digit wise. You will break the number in the decimal part digit wise. For decimal numbers, we have place value chart. Place value chart tells. The base value of each digit in the decimal number. It tells the place value of each digit in the decimal number. It makes it easy to write numbers in decimal form. So here you can see I have drawn the decimal place value chart. So here dot is noted as decimal point. Decimal point left side we have whole number part and right side we have decimal part. So left side whole number part, it is just the same as Indian place value chart: ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, and so on. And decimal point right side we have tens, t e n t h s tens, one upon ten, hundreds, h u n d r e d t h s one upon hundred, thousands, one upon thousand, and so on. So, students, this place value chart is the extension of chart which you have learned in your chapter number one. That is Indian place value chart. So now let us take one example: three six two point eight five. First, we have written the places of the decimal number: ones, tens, hundred. Then decimal point right hand side: tens, hundreds. So let us write in expanded form. Three is in the Hundred place three into hundred plus six is in the tens place plus two is in the ones place plus eight is in the tens place plus five is in the hundreds place. So now multiply three hundreds are three hundred plus sixty plus two plus eight upon ten plus five upon hundred. So this we have written the number three hundred sixty two point eight five in expanded form. Next topic: types of decimals. So there are two types of decimals: like decimal and unlike decimal. What are like decimal? Decimals having same number of decimal places are called like decimals. Example: two point seven three, four point nine two, six point eight five. These are the examples of like decimals. As after decimal point, there are two decimal places. What is the meaning of decimal place? Decimal place is equal to the number of digits 
contained in the decimal part of decimal. Number of digits contained in decimal part of a decimal. Next we have unlike decimal. What is unlike decimal? Decimals having different number of decimal places. Example 9.41 14.683, 2.4. These are the examples of unlike decimals. As after decimal point, there are different decimal places. Students, that's all for today's class. I hope you are Mr. Kurigman's class. In today's lecture, we have completed introduction of chapter number 8 decimals. In the next class, we'll start with exercise 8.1. So stay connected, do like, share, subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.